Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Today we are adding yet another block to our lineup for 2022 and everything based on LGA 1700 platform. And we are going to see what kind of results we get with AlphaCool XPX Ace Block or Ice Block in English. And this is least expensive block in our lineup, especially comparing with Magnitude, which can fetch and go as high as 300 Canadian. This is just 67, so big drop. Anybody who on the quest for making budget build should be on alert on this video to make sure that uh, to see if it worth it, its money or not. I also would like to mention that this is a compete probably with many blocks that you might buy like cheap Chinese stuff from Alibaba or similar but I would like to say that um, getting let's say alpha cool block has a certain advantages such as at least it has some warranty and you can if anything goes wrong you can deal with it from my personal experience dealing with Chinese suppliers if something goes wrong quite often you get zero compensation or they want everything back which is, could be very expensive so sometimes the cheapest option uh, hurt you at the end so when you going on a budget you also need to consider your risk that you're dealing when you buy the cheapest stuff available especially from overseas anyways so what i would like to say about this block before we go into the numbers first of all this is not new block it was um, quite a few years on the market Recently, AlphaCool updated all manuals and everything and said that it's fully compatible with LGA 1700. That we yet to see if it's a true or not. Secondly, being all block, it still comes with all universal mounts you can imagine. It's both compatible with a full range of Intel boards, but it also comes with a bracket that you can and use and install for the AMD. So, for the most of the block on the market right now, you either have Intel version or AMD version. And uh, if later down the road you want to switch, you probably have to buy a new block. Or mounting and, you know, lots of headaches. This has complete everything, everything already in place, which is major benefit, again, for somebody who is on a tight budget. Second, which I personally like, it's probably only one block that still have uh, multiple paper manuals. I personally find it hard to look on my phone for while mounting uh, something or I need to look up, so I personally appreciate still a little piece of paper that uh, quickly tells you with pictures and color how to install your bracket, how to install actual the block itself, what kind of screws you use for each particular case, which springs, uh, washers and so on and so forth. So I really appreciate it. So this is uh, something that don't come across lately. Most people just give you kind of QR code, scan it and read it on the screen. So maybe I'm old school, but uh, I personally really appreciate it. Secondly, uh, the one, the only probably block except as I'm aware, bits power, they give you a set of spare O-rings. So, I don't know, maybe a couple years down the road, you would like to open it and uh, clean it up and maybe you want to put new O-rings, so make sure that nothing is leaking after reassembly, so that's ready for you. So a little bit of peace of mind for the future. It, again, nothing comes with much more expensive blocks that we looked before. So this is a little bit of advantage. Now, let's talk a little bit about numbers. Unfortunately, results wasn't that great, to be honest with you. I was able to overclock the same level as previous blocks we tested. So P cores 52 across all of them, E cores 40. And even go to the same voltage, voltages levels as the previous blocks, but it was a significant difference. Let's say in previous blocks we had like literally plus minus one, two degrees. With this block, the difference was pretty big and um, it was eight degrees basically for my best mount. 
for this block versus uh, like best mount let's say of velocity 2 which is my favorite still so far in this roundup 8 degrees it's already beyond variation of you know not perfect room um, like not temperature controlled room and uh, things like this so I think that um, maybe maybe the reason is belongs to the fact that it just fit LJ700 because it fits it and uh, even originally for this block the back plate that comes with it it has a kind of slotted design so the screw can go a little bit back and forth so it's no problem to fit LJ1700 platform it has a slotted cutout for the bracket on the block itself so I have a sum of a theory I, I have no proof but I think that maybe it was just marked as 1700 compatible because it fits but I don't think anything was done for the mounting pressure that recommended which is higher than before for this platform and that could be a reason I tried to experiment a little bit so I did a few mounts the same like standard way how it's supposed to be mounted but it also because this block comes with um, let me find this uh, yeah so it comes with uh, about I think 1.5 2 millimeter type of washers that actually used for AM4 mounting so I I did a for washer mold that was used for some other guys before and it's yielded better results uh, in that particular case not on this block on different block but nevertheless so I added washer to increase the pressure but it's made no difference so I wasn't able to improve my numbers with using washers so my guess that maybe spring force is not enough for this block and it also supports a little bit by the footprint of the thermal paste so when you remove the block for example for velocity 2 model you want to have like perfectly flat spread very thin layer of the of the thermal paste with this block when I remove it every time you have a little bit more thicker layer of the thermal paste and I think that's basically indication that block doesn't go strong enough on the motherboard and doesn't squish it enough so we have a little bit thicker layer of the of the thermal paste and that give you additional thermal restriction that, that's that's how my explanation because I don't think anything wrong with the design itself it has a standard impeachment plate it has a standard microfin so technically it's identical to everything else so there should be no reason why is this thing is doesn't perform as well as other ones okay. another another difference that I noticed I, I didn't mention that before but um, or maybe I did and I forgot uh, I also did additional test on the background for all blocks when instead of uh, multiplier 52 for P cores I went a little bit lower and well I went multiplier 51 for for all cores so I went from 5.2 gigahertz to 5.5.1 right and uh, typically across all models like doesn't matter velocities magnitude heat killer I basically get identical results so when it's not you pushing your system to the limit you basically don't see any difference between blocks so they all perform identical and on such not heat crunching scenarios for this one I actually had a f still four, 4 degrees difference comparing with velocity 2 so this block definitely performs not as good as all other blocks on our lineup so far I couldn't say it's disappointing especially keeping in mind how much less it cost and um, and also depends what you're doing right so for example I'm personally barely overclock at all I just you know buy expensive equipment as it's work as fast as I need uh, for what I'm doing like it doesn't matter photo editing or videos or playing games so I, I, I don't see the real need to, to go to like go like pushing my system so and in this case uh, like even this block probably would be that much difference 
But if you do overclock and it's important for you, you're trying to, I don't know, make some scores and for breaking rise or whatever, that will be hard to achieve with this block specifically. So, to summarize, what positives we have for this block? Universal, it has, uh, oh, then one, one thing I didn't mention, but we can talk about it now. The type of mounting for this block, it has uh, some screws, but they also have a slots for the screwdriver, so you can install and deinstall this block with a screwdriver. This is a big benefit for current crop of the motherboards when you have a... Um, I specifically bought this motherboard with a very small heatsink so my hands can go and uh, put installation properly. But uh, for the, let's say, previous videos that I had my personal build, I have this maximum board with the massive heatsinks. I couldn't even barely can install my heat killer because it was no space for my hands. So I had to use a little pliers to finish installation. Uh, for this block, you can use screwdriver, so this is not a problem if you have a motherboard with big heat sinks. It's kind of new stuff we have to pay attention in the current generation of hardware. So this is a plus. You have a spares, you have universal mounting, and it comes everything is really low cost. So I don't think there's much blocks on this price level. And the negatives. Obviously, it's not because it's cheap, but something is not right here. Maybe, maybe the mounting, as I mentioned, but it's significantly less least performance block so far in our lineup. Maybe we'll come up with something worse than this, but for now, it is the least performing block. And it also has a all provisional for lighting. So all, I don't use it personally, but many of you do. So no built-in lights. Here uh, you have um, drills, uh, holes, four holes for five millimeter LEDs on the sides that, that you can put your lights there for the color you want, RGB or uh, single color, but there's no built-in strip inside of you. And I know like for many people for uh, whatever reason it's, it's important. So that's what we have for this block. I don't have anything else compatible at this point, but I keep this system just uh, standby. And as we get additional blocks, we will add them up. I know a lot of people wanted me to test um, Maximus blocks. Uh, I don't carry them. They don't want to deal us. Whatever reason, they want to sell direct uh, within Canadian market. If anybody of you want to lend me one, I will test it, but uh, I'm not convinced at this time that I actually need to spend money on it. Um, any guy, anyway guys, thank you for watching, hope you find this video helpful, I see you soon, bye!